what's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to be talking about what is the one thing that is causing most of your losses and don't worry it's causing most of my losses too and it's important whenever we have losses and this is why losses can be very powerful if you approach it in the right way if you understand it's like hey a loss is gives me a chance to review my trade look at it and see what i can do better because during a win we know fucking everything went perfect but a bing but a bang i made money i'm so happy i'm gonna go enjoy my day i'm gonna end my day early i'm gonna end my stream early i'm gonna just go and that's it you're done you don't worry about it but with a loss gives us an opportunity to be humble to humble ourselves our ego gets checked and it's traders whenever your ego gets too high it's gonna clap you every single time so in today's video i'm gonna be talking about what is that one thing that is causing us to take most of our losses more often than not. And, you know, I can show you guys my trades. They've taken this week. They were not the highest quality uh, the last three days, especially. Um, and how a lot of those came from the one mistake I was making. And if you like videos like this, you learn more about stock market, talk about crypto market. We've been doing a lot, a ton of videos, a ton of education for free. Make sure you subscribe, leave a like. I really appreciate your support. I'm trying to stay as consistent as possible. I'm going to be having a ton of vlog once I'm in Japan, some day in the life stuff. I know you guys really like that. So make sure you, you're going to want to watch that. And I got me a huge iced coffee for today's video. So let's jump straight into the charts. Real quick, before we get into the charts. Like, do you guys fuck with these colors? Like, I really, really like these colors. Do you guys like them as well? I always wanted to kind of like these pastel colors. Finally did it. I wasn't sure if people were going to like it. Some people roast them. Whatever. Um, I like them. So, screw you guys. If you, don't, if you don't like it, you know what? Screw you. That's all I'm saying. So, let's talk about uh, what is the one thing that I noticed was ruining my trade trading this week. And one thing was, the main thing was, honestly, is... Trying to predict the market. Trying to think, hey, I'm smarter than the market. I know where it's going to go before it's going to go there. Before it's going to give me any confirmation. Before it's going to tell me, hey, I'm really going there. Before it's going to retest the key area that I wanted to retest. Entering these moves a little too early. And, you know, not waiting for the candle close. Trying to be a predictor. And whenever you're day trading, your job is not to predict anything. Your job is not to guess where the market is going to go. It's to work on the present, see what the market is showing you, and enter a trade based off the current data, right? Based on the data you're currently seeing, hey, the market has not broken this level, the market has not closed above this level, I should not be long, I should not be short. That is the job of, that is your job. Once you start getting into uh, predicting, uh, then it gets really bad. We'll go over a trade that I took uh, yesterday. So actually, it did play out. Uh, but it sh was not a clean trade. So we had the 9.30 open here. Uh, this was on Friday. It was a pretty chop opening, to be fair with you guys. You see Friday here too. So we had first in the uh, overnight session went up. You can see the overnight session went up. Overnight session here went up. And then price uh, came down off the opening. So around 10.30, you can see uh, we take out these equal lows here. Around 10.00. We were taking out all this kind of prevailing gaps here in Q. And yes, it was holding up uh, a lot better. If you guys see around that 10 a.m. candle right here, uh, we filled this big imbalance. We had a bullish diversion because, it, uh, yes, I'd taken out these 8 a.m. lows. Right, there was no lows on in Q. So I told myself, hey, if price closes it above, uh, as you guys can see, this is kind of like a tight range right there. It's kind of between the range. If price closes above this, I'm going to take it long. And that was a little bit of a mistake. I'm going to jump to the one minute because whenever price is choppy on the five, the one minute is going to tell you a little bit more. So you guys see, uh, choppy, 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 choppy. And this sweep here, this quick close at 10 a.m., right? 10 a.m., we know it's a key time. Taking out the lows. And in Q, did, in Q did not take out the lows. It just filled a bit larger. This is a larger time frame for rally gap. When you see you stacked up for rally gaps like this, it's a larger time frame for rally gap. So I told myself, hey, uh, this looks good. But what, what I should have done is wait for my retest. Wait for a retest, right? Wait for a, the retest is always going to happen. You see, if your price shoots up, I enter. I enter a little bit late. Now, again, it's not a terrible rent roughly right here. It gives me about a five-point stop, which I'm comfortable with. Um, actually, I had my stop at this low, so it's a three-point stop, which, again, I'm comfortable with. I was aiming for this high, which will be a higher day. I got a little more out of it. I got all, but I was also hoping to get uh, even more. So I was hoping for 15 points on this. I uh, came shy of it, 
it did play out, but I could have got my 15 points if I waited for a rule. A rule is, hey, I know the price, if it's going to give you a good trade, it's going to give you a retest into where? My golden pocket and also retest now this previous uh, this previous support support area right here. So I could have entered right there and then look at my risk. I could have used the lows as my risk, which is even better. And now I could have caught uh, 12 and a half points instead of kind of being up here and only catching 10 points, right? Again, me being a predictor, me being predicting, hey, this shoots up above this, it's not gonna give a retest. Sorry, I'm checking my phone. It's just gonna go um, straight up. And which was the wrong thing. Then I go look at in Q, right? And I'm like, okay, I, uh, in Q, uh, I'm just taking a trade based off of yes, looks like it wants to go higher. Let me just trade in Q. Let me just add to a position in Q. When in Q had not given me, it had not given me the time. Like if you look at 1015 here, 1020, Q was not telling me that we want to, I want to go higher. You know, we enter roughly something like this came down to get stopped out. It was in profits. Uh, we actually did take profits on the scandal, uh, but it was, the range was pretty high. So even on the scandal, we got about 30 points or so. So, but in Q is not telling me to go higher. Right? I am predicting this. This is my previous day close. If price is going to be bullish, it's going to close over this. You see here before it failed twice, three times, because that's my key level. That's the, where the price closed the previous day. And here I'm, I'm predicting, I'm, ex, I'm gonna fix the chart one second because you can't see behind my head, my big head. I'll make myself a little bit smaller here on to you guys' chart. I know you guys love to see me, but I'm gonna make myself a little bit smaller. Pri I'm predicting price is gonna do this. I'm not getting a confirmation. Yes, yes, I'm getting confirmation, but I have to understand it's like I can't just trade off of yes, it's not a trade, it's not a confirmation. Again, a very easy loss to avoid here, right? And it's not just today. If we go to, the day prior, let's look at the day prior, the five minute. Day prior, big sell off day. I try to take a long right into this, right? Uh, no, sorry, it was only in Q, I took my long, so I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna switch up the charts because this is the one you can see full, but my big head doesn't ruin it. On in Q, I'm gonna tell you guys the exact time I took that trade. I'm gonna put my other shit on the side. Ten fifteen, we took a trade on NQ ten fifteen. So on this candle right here, does it look like a candle I should have taken? No, I should have longed. No, I shouldn't. So why did I take this candle? It's not really even why I took it, but in this candle, I was predicting price to have bottomed out. Let's go ten fifteen. So if you look at the one minute, I was predicting price to have a strong close over this area, right here, over this lows. We had some bullish divergence play out and I was predicting price to close over it. Um, again, now in, when I signal the straight away, I understand, I even said, I'm taking it small because I'm waiting for confirmation. So I told you, ask yourself, if you're waiting for confirmation, where the fuck are you even taking it straight? Right, it's your ego, because I had a huge day. The couple days before Tuesday, I had a huge day. So I made all this money on Tuesday, I'm feeling myself. You know, Wednesday was a little bit of loss, but it was a really, really um, sideways day. It was not really a big, day, big deal to me. I wasn't really pay attention that day. Uh, I'm trying to predict price versus waiting for confirmation. If you're not taking, if you're not, if you're not getting confirmation, if you're not getting a reason, why are you trying to predict price, right? Why are you trying to predict price? Right, we had some bullish divergences at these lows, yeah, but we need price to close over this, right? I used to had a trend line drawn. If you draw a trend line, you can see we have a steep trend line drawn in here, and wherever I'm entering, I'm hoping that we're breaking this trend line. I remember, remember this, I'm like, I'm hoping that, right, we bottomed out here, this is a nice sweep of these lows, right there, entered here, come target maybe the high, this, in, this high up here, and take a trade, roughly it was about 20 point stop, which again, if, you, if you're gonna take this trade, you have to wait for the confirmation. We'll look at yes, and the, around that time too, see how your S was looking. If, now, I did say to go small because I, I, I was aware, it's like, hey, I'm kinda taking without confirmation, I'm aware that make, I'm potentially could be making a mistake here, right? Um, <clears throat> so, I did, I did 
I, I was aware of it, but it's again a very, very avoidable, avoidable loss, right? And if we look at yes, just a dumb loss, right? It's you're running to this fair value gap. You have not even waiting for it to shoot up. This this should have been short, right? You're not waiting for it to shoot up again. Me expecting price to break above this and just keep going. And it's like you cannot trade like this. This might work once or twice. You might get lucky and it work this way, but you can never predict price. Price is unpredictable, right? You let price play out and you live in the present. If the present is like, hey, I'm poten- I'm in a resistance trend line. Potential to go higher, potential to go lower. It's a 50-50. Am I taking a trade? No, I'm not taking a trade. Boom, you get confirmation. You let, Let's say here, for example, you close under this, under these lows you close, like where this candle or something, or you get an inversion, inversion for value gap. You, Enter here, okay. Now I can use that trend line as a stop or whatever. Target, I don't know. I'm just making up a trade here, but target the previous low or in the next low, the next key low, or just really stop. Now that makes more sense, right? Because I'm looking, I'm like, hey, price is in the zone where it could do this and it can do that. And that's why, like, sometimes when like when you ask people about trading, it's like, oh, like, why are you 50 50? Because like sometimes price is 50 50, you're not sure. And it is fine. It is fine that you don't know where price might go in that moment. And you just don't take the trade. Or you just wait for more price to show you, okay, now I'm more confident in that. I know I think I know where it's going. Uh, but whenever price, you can't think that you know price at every single moment of time uh, on where it is going to go. Right? Because it's a very egotistical. If you're trading in the markets trillions and trillions of dollars, you think you can just sit on a chart and predict that every single candle it's completely ridiculous right so don't be the predictor don't make the mistake i made i'd love to show you guys these examples it's like hey i'm the first one making these mistakes you're not alone in this i'm not perfect i'm not some magical trader no there's no one out there there's no ict there's no teacher none of these guys are going to be perfect at predicting price and it, that is fine i'm not either and you're not going to be either but you cannot watch these guys that post videos and only post winning trade recaps uh, and winning trades and don't trade live because right away you're going to think they're going to be like damn these guys just don't fucking miss you know they're maybe just trade a loss here and there but like these guys are like bang 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 amazing the reality of it is it's not it's a lot of stupid mistakes it's some losses some periods of uh, low confidence there's going to be some periods of you know just not trading well and again it's all part of it like think yourself as an athlete right LeBron might have not played so well over two or three games right but then his overall form it's amazing, right? So hope you guys learned something in this video. Leave a comment down below. If you want to trade live with me every single day, you guys know this every single day. Trade live, no, not just trade recaps. Yes, signals live. Code thirty nine. That's the number three nine. That's literally like the number three nine. At checkout, the link will be down below. Come learn. Hey, thirty nine dollars on your first month. Just check it out. Don't even follow my trades. Just come learn. I think you'll get your money's worth, and that's why I make it so cheap for the first month. If somebody thinks, hey. Money is worth it. You know, I'll stay for the next month at the full price. Anyway, hope you guys appreciate it. And as always, check out the links down below as well. I have a bunch of like really cool links. Peace out. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll keep trying to make content. So stay subscribed and turn on the bell notification.